Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali and today we have another exciting day. I feel like I keep introing my vlogs with that. But today we get our first ever grown-up bed. And what I define a grown-up bed is like the whole contraption that pieces together. So for example, like we only have the bed, what is this called? Bed frame maybe? And then we had our headboard from the last apartment. It's just like sitting right here. It's gorgeous. We actually got it custom made and I wanted this like herringbone pattern. So I love it, but I wanted a grown up bed. So I don't know where we're gonna put that. A lot of people suggested to make it into some kind of art, but anyways, we are getting our bed today. It's from Living Spaces and it's just gorgeous, at least what I saw online. We went into the store to pick out the fabric piece. I actually think I hear the truck guy outside, so it's happening. Here's the bed right now. Like I said, we only have the bed frame right now. And as, there he is. <laughs> and as you can see, we have like so much random shit under the bed. So we're gonna have to like pull it out. We're just gonna scoot it to that side of our room. We did get the bed with storage and I'll show you guys that once it's all assembled, we actually paid for it to get assembled too. Um, so this is the before. I think they will. I think we need to get new ones. <laughs> I think we need to get some new nightstands that are smaller. What do you think, Sophie? She used to use our carpet to like get a running start in the apartment, and now she has hardwood, so it's been really like hard for her to get up on the bed. She can. She just chooses to whine and get picked up to put her. Yeah, like if we're in the bed, like she will make us pick her up. But if we're like, if she wants to chill in the bed and we're not in the room, then she knows how to get on the bed. It's like okay. very, wait, wait, wait. Um, I think I want a Scotch guard it. It's very performance fabric. It's I know, but dirty. that's what I'm saying. I just want to like very, do very, very, very. I didn't do that, babe. Who did it? I don't know. So there's an issue right here. I paid for them to build it and basically the guy um, made like a note of that this is like not closing properly because it's supposed to be a magnet right there and it's supposed to ugh, go and close tighter like this side is perfectly fine. But he made a note so he said that maybe they could just replace this part because it's only that part, that storage part. So, And honestly in the pictures, 
I thought that I was going to have storage on this side, that side, and the front, but now that I'm looking back on it, yeah, it does say just like the front. So that was kind of a letdown, but it's fine because whatever. <laughs> now we have a house with lots more storage, so we're just going to find some other spaces to put all the shit that was under our bed. I'm going to scotch guard the bed because I don't trust this and I feel like it's going to get dingy really quick. And unlike our couch, it doesn't have removable covers. It says long lasting protection, waterproof fabric, ideal for use on upholstery, throw pillows, table linens, fabric purses, clothing, canvas shoes, backpacks, luggage. So let's do it. motivation to film a little hair tutorial with my new background i'm so excited i feel like this is just helping it to feel a little bit more like home just like piece by piece every furniture coming in even though that this might have been like the first no this was like the second because we got a dining table recently but how cute does it look i'm deciding whether i should get new bed sheets and like a duvet cover at least because i feel like the colors don't really go together the duvet cover is a little bit more cool tone than the actual bed frame, which I love the color of the bed frame, but now that I'm looking at it, like it doesn't look horrible. But if I see something, I might get it because I've actually had this one for a very long time. This is by far my favorite hair tool that I've probably used in like a couple of years. It just makes your hair look so beautiful and just shiny. It literally looks like you just came home from the salon with like a fresh blowout. And sometimes I'll even do it on just like day two, day three hair just to give it a little bit you know, more zhuzh and just look a little bit nicer than it feels. Um, I actually just washed my hair this morning though, so I blow dried it just straight. It's obviously not perfect. There's like some kinks in it, but I knew I was just going to use this. This is from Amazon and I think it's like under 50. When I bought it, it was like under 35, but of course the price changes when, you know, it gets more popular. So I think it might be like under 50, but still for this little thing is so good because this is like a dupe of the Amica Mm, thermal brush I think it's what it's called and that one's like a hundred and something dollars so comparatively obviously this is way more affordable so anyways I'm gonna get started using this brush I really do want like a sit-down vanity somewhere in this house I just don't know really where like obviously it could be in my office but the lighting's not the best in my office to be honest it's pretty dark um in there which I don't really know why I claimed that to be my office but can't really take it back now. With my desk in and everything, I'm not sure if. Oh my god. Alrighty then. Goodness, I don't know why that scared me so much, but it's just like a salesman, a roof guy, which honestly, <laughs> we need a new roof. But, anyways, I just like take the ends 
and kind of wrap it around like that and just like pull it out and then like do it again and then I will slowly release it oh like that oh look at that shine look at that bounce I'm doing a little TikTok tutorial and I did one side of my hair and like look at the difference this is like just blow dried straight and this is with this little heated round brush. It also doesn't make a noise because there's no air blowing out of it. It's literally just like a heated round brush, but I'll show you guys. If you see people using this brush on TikTok and they have like so many little swoops, like especially shorter ones and all that, it's because they have a lot of layers. So if your hair doesn't look the same exact way and you have a blunt cut, that is exactly why it doesn't look like that. I would say I have longer layers. So I have like face framing layers. Last haircut I got, was a more blunt cut because I didn't want it to look like dead at the ends. My hair won't be as swoopy this time, but it still looks really good. I just pull it down all the way to the end and kind of just roll it up and release it and roll it up and release it. And then you're going to release the whole hair piece very slowly. Hair is done and it really doesn't take me that long. With some extra shine, you can also add some hair oil to the base of your hair, just the ends, not the roots, because you don't want it to be too greasy. I feel like my hair lasts a lot longer and just doesn't get as greasy when I actually take the time to blow dry my hair, so I've been doing that a lot lately. But yes, this is what the outcome is from this little thermal brush, and I'll have it linked in the description box. Last night we went to Dave & Buster's for their new South Austin Grand Opening. We played so many games, and my favorite games were like the luck games, like the coin pusher, my favorite game. But anyways, we got so many tickets. Ryan actually won like 1,600 tickets, which he was way luckier than I was last night. But we went into like where you pick prizes. I literally just have so much clutter already in my house. My friends came over the other night and they were like, how did you even fit all of this in your two bedroom apartment? And I was like, I could not tell you. I literally don't know how it happened. I think we only just bought like the dining table, the chairs, now that bed frame. But other than that, I'm like just like so much pantry stuff and I did not have a big pantry in the apartment. So I'm honestly very confused about that. Anyways, I just didn't really want more clutter than I already have. We ended up getting Sophie a ton of like balls that they had over there um, and <laughs> she didn't even like like any of them. We got her little soccer ball thing. We got her like spiky balls. After we gave her all of our balls, she goes to get her other tennis ball that was like literally, I don't even know, 10 cents because it came in like a four pack and we're like cool cool we just won you these balls but like okay anyways we also got a football because we actually needed this we had a falcons one but i have no idea where it went and might have gotten lost in the move and then we just got like a little um i don't know these are like the classic toys that you get you know the little popper anyways it was just really fun to play arcade games and stuff last night but the night before, my two friends came over, like I said, and my friend Shireen brought me her Persian tea, put it in this cute little jar, and it's like literally liquid gold. I think she makes it with like saffron, which I believe is the most expensive spice. This is so yummy, so I'm gonna pour it in a glass. Honestly, I could probably drink it out of this glass because it's so cute. I think she actually made a video on how to make it, so I might have to look it up and try it on my own. One time I went to her house for dinner and we had like fresh tea. I think it was like warmed up, but she said she drinks it iced. So good, and she like sweetened it. So yummy. Plus I need a little caffeine boost because at 5 p.m. I'm actually shooting a proposal at the Secret Theater or Secret. It's spelled funky so it looks like Secret but I think it might be Secret Theater. Anyways, it's this gorgeous little venue and we were supposed to do it. Where were we supposed to do it? I guess he didn't really decide on the like spot but this was like last week I met him at Redbud Isle and we were checking that out and we just decided it wasn't the vibe and then he found out that it was supposed to rain today so that's why we're doing it at this venue because it's more of like a covered space um but I'm really excited for that and I might have to bring out my flash which is not my favorite thing to do I'm more of like a natural light photographer and I rarely use my flash unless it's needed which today it might be because he got the venue from 5 to 6 and sunsets at like 5 30. Although he said he's bringing a bunch of candles, he's gonna have his mom set it up before. I just don't know how many candles they're bringing, slash, if it's gonna be enough to like really lighten up the space. So 
flash it is. I'm charging my camera batteries right now and I feel like I've been pretty productive in the last hour or so. I filmed a bunch of TikToks. I don't know, this new bed frame is really making me motivated. Like, I feel like I unlocked a new filming space, so I love that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if the caffeine was a great idea because I'm getting a little nervous. I'm about to head out to go shoot this proposal and <laughs> I feel like I just always get a little bit of those butterflies when I drink caffeine. <laughs> it's starting to rain outside, so I'm actually really, really happy that we went with plan B to do it at this venue. But this is the outfit of the shoot. <laughs> I have this um, waterproof jacket from Amazon. It is like on the thinner side, so like I don't know if it would be waterproof if I got soaked, but it's just really only drizzling because like I don't think I'm going to be covered. Which, shoot, should I bring like a plastic bag to throw over like my camera or something? Cause like, mm. I mean, I do have an umbrella, but I'm not gonna be like holding it with one hand. We'll think about that in a second. And then I just have like my tennis shoes on that I don't care about getting dirty. These are like my trail walking shoes from Merrill, which they're really comfortable, but like not the cutest. So I wear them at times like these when I know they're probably gonna get dirty. Also kind of sad because I know my hair is gonna get ruined because I will be in the rain. I can always redo it, but I just did it. <laughs> and I just like washed my hair today. But anyways, I need to make sure my flash is in here, which it is. That's good, I have not done flash in a while. And I'm really hoping that it's still light out for a good bit, but I think sunset sets at like 5.30 and he got the venue from like five to six. So <laughs> we might be having to shoot with flash done it before so it'll be fine had to run upstairs to get this little contraption it's a diffuser so the flash isn't too harsh got home from the proposal and i got beto's tacos on the way home these are literally the best barbacoa tacos ever oh my god and i was like already on the east side we got barbacoa we got past store little candle lit dinner at our new dining room table it's raining loud you guys yeah you guys can probably tell my my lens is like really fogged up and I forgot that I had a different setting on my camera because I was taking flash photography and I always like to have it warm so I just don't mind this I'll change it after but I got soaked I literally washed my hair today and I'm like mm, should I wash it again or just like dry it and like style it again <laughs> I didn't know it would be that wet out there and then like the secret or secret theater whatever it's called wasn't covered fully so like the candles started sizzling out so it was kind of sad, but I feel like the proposal itself was so cute and perfect. I'll argue that shooting proposals is way more nerve wracking than shooting a wedding. If a girl doesn't know, it's a surprise and I have to hide and then I get really nervous. It's a rainy day here in Austin, so we had to choose a venue that's kind of covered. It's time they're all the way here and the candles are like slowly being put out by the rain because it's not fully covered and we didn't realize that. Hopefully they get here soon. 